If you are going to visit Venice, you are thinking about a gondola trip. What kind of Venice photo could be without a gondola? But the price? The price starts at 80 euros. In the video, we will tell you how to ride a gondola only for 2 euros. Traghetto. Italian word traghetto means a ferry. Venice is not a big city, but it divided apart by the big channel, Grand Canal. This channel crossed only with four bridges, so to get from one side to another can be a challenge. For a long time there was only one bridge and water buses were not exist. So to get from one part of the city to another could take a plenty of time. This could be a reason to create a gondola of ferries more than 800 years ago. These gondolas pretend to call the first European public transportation system. There is no even a plot of omnibuses in Paris or London when in Venice operated more than 80 ferry routes. In the 16th century, City Hall officially regulated fares for these gondolas. You may be interested with a couple of tips and guidelines. Let's start with advantages. The first one is the price. The tourist gondola prices are started at 8 euros in the daytime. After 7 pm the price rises to 100 euros. Maximum number of people that can board is 6. The price for a ferry gondola is 2 euros per person. The happy holders of discount card can pay only 70 euro cents per trip. In the corner of the screen you can see a video of how to get this card. If you don't see it, it will be on the channel very soon. The second benefit. You can feel like a Venetian citizen. In tourist gondola you will be addressed in English or several other non-Italian languages. The sailor points to the nearest palace and tells the story behind it. He could even sing. Sometimes. Maybe. All these have nothing in common with living in the city on the water. On a ferry you can feel yourself like a real local person for two minutes. The true gondola ride will be 30 minutes or longer. It can be very pleasant indeed. The ferry gondola was invented for time saving, not leisure, so the whole ride is 5 minutes, waiting time included. So, if you have only a day or even a couple of hours in Venice, a ferry gondola is your choice. There are some disadvantages as well. There are only 5 ferry gondola routes nowadays. Only 2 of them operate the full day. For 2 gondolas you will be asked by the drivers with special offers and wonderful views promises. Ferry crossing you need to find yourselves. This is a map of the gondola crossing. In the description you can find the link to actual gondola ferries information. The true gondola driver will be always polite. This is not necessarily on a traghetto. It depends. Every gondola driver has to work on a ferry on a schedule and almost for free for him. On the other side, it could be a real problem for him. The locals know all the rules. They use the ferry very often. Be polite to a driver and pay attention to his words. If you would like to use a gondola ferry, try to prepare it. The traghetto rules are Let all the passengers get out, then get on board. Balance is crucial. Try to stand at the center line of the gondola. You can sit on a board or a special bench. The locals stand all the way. But it may be not easy for you. Mind your back, hands and fingers, especially when you sit aboard and or wearing a backpack. You can hit them during boarding. Be careful when getting out of the gondola. Don't push it too strong. If you don't practice martial arts or yoga, be polite and prepare money in advance. Traditionally, people pay after the ride, and the driver will be thankful if you don't search your pockets after get out. That makes a delay. 